Missy asks, how do refunds work in Thrivecart? So we, <laughs> us marketers, all we do is spend time talking about how you can get money into your account from Thrivecart. Not how, what happens if something, something goes wrong? So it's very easy, very simple. And it's understandable that like we don't talk about it that much. But here's how it works. Let me go ahead and show my screen again. So if you have some transactions in your account, you can see exactly how it works. So on every line item, like, so first, here's like the, the workflow, the practice that we do. When students have, ooh, where are we here? Solo on. So you make a sale, right? And they get your contact information. When you're building out your product in Thrivecart, you have to tell them what is your support email address or where should they go to get support, right? Like that's a requirement. You can't even publish your product without having at least like a, a help area for them to go to or an email address for them to email, okay? So that's first off, they can contact you after the sale. So what happens if the sale is a bad experience? They can ask for a refund. Uh, we do it through email. Uh, I like doing it through email because you can get good feedback on, is the product not good? Is there something you need to fix? Did the delivery not work? Um, some people are like, can they just ask for refunds automatically and uh, I don't have to deal with it? I would highly encourage you get involved with your refund process. I'm not saying make it hard for them to do a refund, but get that feedback is, is point number one. It's gonna make you a better business owner. It's gonna make your products better over time. Also, it gives you a chance to maybe save the sale. There's just a small misunderstanding. You can clear that up and save the sale, which is also fantastic. Okay, but don't add additional friction. If they want a refund and you have a refund policy, abide by it. Okay, so once you decide it's time for refunds, we're gonna go into the screen here. I'm learning so much about this platform. All right, in this area, this is our transactions. You can search the email address from this, the customer. Let's say, hey, I bought into this email. Can I get a refund because I blah, 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 whatever their reason is, abide by your policy. And once you find their transaction, like I'll search for John at Unbeatable Tech. Let's assume I didn't buy it like right now and it, it was purchased a long time ago. I'll find the transaction here and then you can click on the refund button. You can either choose a full refund, a partial refund. You can leave notes if you'd like to. And uh, let's see, does that go back? Yeah, this it will not be displayed to them. So this is like internal notes. If if there's if you want to talk to your team about what's going on with refunds, you can do that there. And you can also say, hey, refund them 50 cents on this one dollar transaction. And let's go ahead and do it. So I'll do a full refund and I will click the button. Are you sure you want to refund to this person? Yep, refund. Processing refund. And it's done. Okay. So a couple notes here. What's actually happening? Well, Thrivecart doesn't accept the money. Thrivecart is just the shopping cart platform. It's kind of like the, the middleman here between your bank account and the customer and the payment processor. The actual payment processor is likely gonna be either Stripe or PayPal, right? So you choose one of those, you plug it in, you do the integration with Thrivecart. It has video instructions for all of that. Once that's done, all the record keeping of that real transaction happens inside that payment processor, either PayPal or Stripe for the sake of this example. When I bought with a credit card on this test video or the I guess, previous test video, if I clip this out by now, um, I use Stripe because that's what does all the credit card magic, okay? So when I click the refund button inside of Thrivecart just now, what's actually happening is Thrivecart is talking to Stripe and saying, hey, this is the order, this is the amount, uh, give it back to that account, okay? Um, pay them back. And Stripe says, okay, cool. And Stripe is actually taking the money back from your balance. So, uh, and I don't wanna get too deep, but you have a balance in Stripe. And if not, then they're gonna pull it from the bank that's linked to Stripe. And they're gonna take that money from you and send it back to the customer automatically. It's also going to send an email saying, hey, you've been refunded, this is the amount, please expect it to hit your bank in two to five days or whatever their, their stuff is. So that's how it works, pretty easy. You don't need to go in and do a whole lot of work um, and just make sure that you are abiding by your own policy. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got some value from it, please help me out by clicking that like button so more people can find it and be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of my next video. Oh, and by the way, I have a free gift for you, my free funnel blueprint. You can find it on a link somewhere around here that'll help you launch your next successful sales funnel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.